tight welterweight division. Approaching the boxing ring. Who's the number one ranked boxer in the world in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division? Iqbal John Kolderov, the tournament number five seed, reigning Asian Continental Championship gold medalist. And the 20 year old approaching the ring in confident mood. to the reception for Artem Howard Union, the reigning Olympic championship bronze medalist is all smiles as he approaches the, approaches the boxing ring, has been the poster boy for these championships and he has delivered with his displays to this point, restored as the tournament number four seed, he was a unanimous point decision winner. In the second preliminary round over England's Luke McCormack. After receiving a bye in the first preliminary round. There we see the route of progression for Iqbal John Koldarov. Koldarov, the tournament number five seed, had a bye in the first prelim round before prevailing in a unanimous points decision win over John Gutierrez. To book his place here in the final state, eight stage, defeating the man from Colombia. Passionate support for Artem Harit Yunyan, born in Yerevan, Armenia, lives in Schwerin, Germany, four-time national championship gold medalist, and took that Olympic bronze, losing to Lorenzo Sotomayor in the semi-final. Beckles up from Dan Tobago signals time in and we are underway in the 64 kilogram light welterweight divisions between boxers from Uzbekistan and Germany. The man wearing red operating out of the South Pole stance is Iqbal John Koldarov, 20 years of age. Koldarov, the tournament number five seed and the reigning Asian continental champion. Opponent wearing blue, who's just ran onto a one-two combination. Balls in the action, so has been out. He's a Koldarov, rinsed and reinstated. Now the man in blue is Artem Harajanian, 27 years of age. Ranked number seven in the world, the tournament number four seed. He is the reigning Olympic bronze medalist. Competing. The second World Senior Championships here. Adding to the tournament he participated in in Kazakhstan four years ago. Koldarov is one of these boxers on He's very good at mid range. He's a, he's a power man. His feet are a little bit flat occasionally, but he whips in the hooks uh, and left hands. His, his bent arm shots is very good at mid range, as I say, a bit of power. One of his faults, though, he's got a very low lead and very relaxed guard, and again, he'll be open to the left hook. That's why I think this German, Harut Yun Yang, is trying to get close here and land that left hook. He's getting caught on the way in. Bit of a head clash there. He's got to move his head a little bit more, this man in blue, to avoid the punches. Let's have a look at the referee doing here. Always giving him a warning. Oh, he's the head. Oh, top. Oh, my goodness, and he's a wry smile. But the point has been taken away, which means that this round is going to be almost impossible for Iqbal John Kordarov to win. Because now, having had that point taken away, even if he were to take the round 10 9, a point would be taken off, meaning that he can score no more than 9. So he has to win the round to make it an even round. He has to dominate the round in order to win 9 8. And that's going to be unlikely. Against the boxer like Artem Harit Yunyan, short of winning the court. A little bit surprised there with the, with the referee's decision. 
there. He also seen something that was very deliberate that he didn't like um, for, him to, for him to give a warning straight away like that. But it is what it is, and it's just made Baldar's um, task very difficult indeed now. But the German here in blue, he's, he's, he's got the right tactics, he's got to get up close, he's making it scrappy and messy. There's the head move, and that's not bad. From and down again, goes. He gets caught. Harald Junja walked on to a shot. Now, we've seen this repeatedly in this tournament, as you know, Richie, because when boxers have suffered flash knockdowns, they've not been hurt, but they've been tagged and sent to the canvas. Invariably, the gloves get quite clean, and no knockdown is registered. Yeah, that's amazing, because that was, that was a punch there, wasn't it? That put him down on the canvas. In the trend in this tournament, as Koldarov ends with an uppercut, this man is in a commanding position, surely, because he can't have lost that round and he'll go back to his blue corner safe in that knowledge. Interesting to see um, the incident to point off the Let's have a look here. Is there any indication in, in the sequence here? Just some nice boxing from the man in red, and that's where the gun shield comes out. That was an excellent boxing there from Eldarov. There's the head, so there's a bit of a head. Now, was that deliberate? I just think it was... I don't know whether the, 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 the point was deducted there, but so it was. I'm very surprised that uh, the referee's not close to the referee. Second round has been an incident field first round. Oh, and down goes Harrod Yunyan again. This time it is counted. A terrific counter shot from the man in red. And down goes the reigning Olympic bronze medalist. Tremendous shot, wasn't it? It was a right hook that actually put him to the canvas. And Goldarov now, that's that mid range you see. He's got the power of this man in red and brought his opponent on there to a tremendous right hook. Red shot. Now remember, in Aiba open boxing, sending your man to the floor and receiving a count does not necessarily ne necessarily result in a 10-8 round as it does in non-Aiba professional boxing. So it's going to be interesting to see how the judges score this. Still two minutes to go in this second round. And Harold Yunyan may still be a little bit shaken up from that because while he was letting his hands go, he was also keen to get up close and hold on. Well, the German, he knows he's got to get up close as opponent, but he's just probably getting a little bit too close on him. He's not actually finding the space on the inside for the quality work to follow, and that's what he's got to do. He's getting in the right positions, but he's got to find the room and the space there. I mean, it's a real art, isn't it, in the inside boxing, but he's not doing it, this man in blue. He's just failing right at the end. He's getting into the position, but he's not creating enough space to land the shots. Good left hand dug into the body from Taldora. Harrod Yunyan coming back with muscular arcing right hand. And it's another untidy tangle in the space of the ring. Beyond the midpoint of the second round, Harrod Yunyan bobbing and weaving his way inside once again. But he's not really working away when he gets there. There's the bobbing, weaving movement right up onto the chest of Kaldarov. Big hooks being winged in by Kondarov. Harold Dunya is making this an untidy physical encounter. But once he gets into short range, as he's taking shots through the middle from Kondarov, wonderful punch picking. Yeah, he's prepared to take the shot, this German, to land one, but he's taking a lot of shots on the gloves, the other one's getting through, but he's probably taking um, too many on the inside himself, so he's not actually landing on the inside when he gets there, well, that's the problem, and he's taking the punches as he's coming forward. And that the again. There was a good shot that got through from Harriet Yunyan as well with the left hand. But plenty of mauling tactics being applied by the man in blue. The ball goes in his way forward behind the high held guard, but then grappling his man when he gets up close. Kodarov reciprocating in that regard. So a very untidy second round. The second round in which Artem Harad Yunyan was sent to the canvas by a sweet counter shot by this man. Yes, a good word to the man in 
impressed in the first half I man. Good combination. Let's have a look at what we've seen here. What left of the cut. There, well to the body, left hook. And then there's this little right up there. It was there. Super punch. Brought him onto it. Good work. Hold on. He's done it a couple of times. He's just had the use of his shoulder. The referee's picked up on it. And if he does it again, he may be warned again with another point. So he's got, he's got to watch what he's doing this fellow. This could be a tricky last round. Because the man in blue is going to come at him like a bull in the china shop. to wait quarter final the boxer wearing red if by john kardarov has produced moments of quality in the muscular physicality there you go. just as you said richie there you go. illegal use of the shoulder repeatedly and a point has been got from it by john kardarov just as you suggested it would be if he continued to employ that illegal tactic absolutely his, his corner should have picked up on that and given that instruction what's the use of the shoulder but uh, there you go. Now, now it's going to be interesting when we the scores. Mouthpiece has come out once again. And that's the second time that he's come out. And that is a punishable offence. He's come out twice from Iqbal John Kaldarov. Remember we saw in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Andrew Salvi get penalised for that infringement when his mouthpiece kept coming out against Rhys McFadden. If it comes out again, I don't doubt that referee will be well within his right to take the point. That would be three warnings, PPD cue. So the problem's mounting for Kodaro, but he employs the shoulder once again. Good left hook and a left cross. And he's really going for the finish now. He's bleeding from the nose, but that is not denting his determination. He's letting his hands go without caution. Big hooks going in from Harold Union. We have a firefight here with a minute gone in the third and final round. I think Kodaro, he knows that he's had two warnings and he probably thinks that he probably might need a stoppage or he's trying to stop his man with these big shots he's taking risks himself but Harokunyan just keeps coming forward plenty of pressure from the German for right tactic but can he land the better shots on the inside Ronald? he has looked him out before John Caldaro the man ranked number 11 in the world He's under real pressure here because he's been given two warnings. That's why he's launching everything into these punches, trying to find a finishing shot. And instead, he's just taken a hard right hand from Harit Yunyan. Just over a minute to go in the third and final round. And this has been an absorbing contest, filled with incidents. Harit Yunyan sent to the floor in the second round by a beautiful counter hook. Two warnings issued against the 11th rank boxer, Iqbal John Kordarov. The first round for the headbutt, the third and final round for illegal use of the shoulder. So he finds himself with a mountain to climb now, and he knows that, and that is why he's pursuing his man in such relentless fashion. He's put so much work in, hasn't he? Uh, uh, he's really tired now, leaning on his opponent, but on his toes. But he's put so much into it. The work rate's been fantastic from the man in red, the Uzbekistan boxer. And with those two warnings, it's going to be so, so close now, Rob. Almost impossible for Kaldara to win because Harit Yunyan has been competitive in this round. He's made it physical and come forward with his own muscularity as well. Closing seconds, surely Kaldara needs a knockout. And that's why he's going for it. Can't find that big punch to finish his opponent. Well, what a contest we have just witnessed here in the light welterweight division. Harold Yunyan all smiles when he goes back to his blue corner. This man gave absolutely everything, but he's been docked two points in the first round, penalised for illegal use of the head. In the third round, penalised for illegal use of the shoulder, as our expert analyst Richie Woodall suggested he would be if he continued to employ that illegal tactics tactic as he was throughout the second round it duly came he was duly punished so two points taken away and he put the man on the floor in the second round will that be scored as a 10 8 round remember it doesn't have to be or it often isn't in Aiba open boxing so let's see the scorecards from the five scoring judges personally i think it's this man who's going through 
Artem Harit Yunyan, but how will the judges see it after three completed rounds of boxing?